Okay, welcome to today's class. Today we're looking at verbs and prepositions. And I call this verb patterns, really. This is just like reporting verbs. Quite often you learn about these patterns when you do reporting verbs. We're going to do it in this course in prepositions. And we're going to look at some verbs. And today we're just focusing really on verb plus object plus preposition. And then maybe um, also verb plus preposition um, <laughs> well, my, uh, verb plus preposition plus object plus preposition plus object. So I consider this even more complicated than verb object preposition. Um, but still, you've got the uh, well, you've got verb preposition object preposition object instead of verb object preposition. But we'll look at a lot of these different forms and we're going to try and group together different verbs because I think that's the best way to learn this grammar. I mean, especially because if you look at these first four verbs, which all work the same way, prevent someone from doing something, stop someone from doing something, forbid someone from doing something, prohibit someone from doing something, you might notice a pattern because they all mean something fairly similar. And so they should be quite, not easy, but fairly straightforward to remember as a group. Yeah. And here are some examples of some sentences. It's all in blue or purple. I'm not very good at distinguishing colours, but um, it does get a little bit faint down here. So listen carefully. But the barrier stopped me from getting through. But I must admit, with stop, you can add the from or you can take it out. You can say the barrier stopped me getting through. So with stop, you can include it or you can exclude it. It's up to you. Um, but with the other words, you definitely need the from before you use the gerund. With stop, you can stop somebody doing something or stop somebody from doing something. OK, so just if you're interested in the details, there's a little detail and there are always details with this advanced grammar. It's tricky. Um, some more examples. The security guards try to prevent me from entering. OK, and so they're all pretty similar. Now, another one which works the same is isolate somebody from something or from other people. Um, so, for example, for a couple of years, we isolated the elderly from their relatives. Yeah, we didn't allow the elderly to see their relatives. We put them in care homes and we said you can only see your relatives through the glass. Yeah, just like a prison. And so the security guards tried to prevent me from entering. Yeah. Or maybe they didn't try. Maybe they did prevent me from entering. Yeah. So you prevent someone from entering the building. You forbid someone from.